Today, I'm going to introduce you to layers and show you how they can be used in your DrawPlus projects. In short, layers are basically transparent sheets stacked on top of each other and each of these sheets contains part of a single drawing. It's when all of the layers are put together that the finished drawing is actually created. Let's get started. A typical drawing will start off with a single layer on which you draw your objects. This layer is called Layer 1 and you can see it displayed on the Layers tab. You can add as many new layers as you need by clicking the Add Layer button at the bottom of the tab. To view all of the objects on a layer, just expand the arrow next to the layer's thumbnail. Objects at the top appear at the front of the drawing and the ones at the bottom are at the back. By default, when I add a new shape, you can see that it appears at the top. It's easy to change the order of objects. Simply click on the object you want to move and then drag it up or down on the list. Alternatively, you could use the depth slider on the Arrange tab. Dragging the slider to the left moves a selected object down the list and dragging it to the right moves it up towards the top. At the moment, this drawing is quite simple, so one layer is sufficient. If your design is more complex, it's a good idea to separate groups of objects onto different layers. Let's add a new layer. The great thing about using layers is that you can edit the selected layer without fear of accidentally clicking something on another layer. You can see that I can't click on any of the objects on layer 1 because it's layer 2 that is currently selected. To choose a different layer to work on, just click it on the Layers tab or select a specific object by clicking its thumbnail. If you want to delete a layer, just click the Delete Layer button at the bottom of the tab. OK, now we'll look at a more complex example. If I expand one of the layers, you'll be able to see thumbnail previews of all of the objects on that layer. For a larger preview, simply hover over the thumbnail. The drawing I'm using to demonstrate this is a Draw Plus sample called Art. It's available from the Startup Wizard, so feel free to open it and experiment with the layers for yourself. The coloured line under each layer's properties buttons indicates the colour which will be used for the bounding boxes of the object on the layer. This is useful if your drawing has multiple layers because you can quickly see where a particular object is placed. These buttons at the bottom of the Layers tab can be used to change the layer order. You can click to move a layer either up or down the stack. If you want to be able to select and edit objects on all layers, simply click the Edit All Layers button. By default, View All Layers is selected, which means we can see objects on all of the layers at the same time. Disable this option if you only want to see objects on the layer that is currently selected. To the right of each layer, you'll see three icons. You can use these to lock and hide layers and assign paper textures. Clicking the Paper Textures icon opens a dialog where you can browse all of the textures available. I can temporarily hide this layer and its contents by clicking the visible icon. Finally, you can lock layers by clicking the locked icon. This is really useful to protect your layer while you're working on another area. That's it for this tutorial. We've covered the basics of working with layers, but there are plenty of other things you can do with layers that I didn't get time to mention. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.